Hello everyone, it's Gator here for the first 30 minutes of 5-7. This video is for entertainment purposes only. I am not offering any advice or um, picks for what you should do. Today was actually the best day of the week for me, but not necessarily the most explosive morning. I made most of my money today after um, the first 30 minutes, although I did have a green first 30 minutes, so we'll get into it. I was really hopeful initially that we would get a big gap up. Well, we did get the big gap up, but that we would get some follow through. Um, but it turned out really quick that you could see it did not come to fruition. Instead, we had everything selling off, which kind of seems to be the standard nowadays. It's kind of par for the course, so I was disappointed, but not really surprised. The first few minutes here I was watching and I did not have the confidence to jump into anything. I didn't expect anything to pop. I was constantly watching and hoping, scanning these different charts, looking at chat, seeing if anybody saw anything I was missing, but I was just chill, no stress, green week, you know, hands off no reason to to rush into anything if the market was going to sell off I would wait for it to set in some new lows and then I would try to buy short I was hopeful that as the day went on it would pop and maybe we would get some good follow through to the upside which actually is what happened and I'm actually leaving this plane here as kind of just a, a chance for me to say that you see how quickly Amazon sold off there, how quickly um, Tesla sold off there, and some of these other names. So I know on Monday I did a video and I bought almost directly at the open for Tesla. So you see here why you don't necessarily want to do that, especially early in the morning. You're not going to get any good price improvement with Fidelity. I don't know about other brokers, but I know with Fidelity you just get almost none. So you're more than likely to lose or really have to get a move work to make money. So we are now five minutes into the day. This is the sixth minute. And you can see that Tilray was strong. Roku was also strong. Zoom was decently strong. But I kind of liked Tilray more because it was a safe play. I could take a 1,000 or 2,000 contracts. And I thought it was a fairly safe maybe to get a small win under my belt. And you can see that it had ran up we have a one minute bar that's closing here it closed I bought as it closed and the price began to print a little bit higher the price was jumping back and forth one penny if you can see my level two it was 74 77 74 77 77 and it was kinda just going in there it popped a little bit and I took a quick scalp I had 2,000 shares and I made about four cents it wasn't a lot it was um, I believe around a hundred dollars maybe a little bit less until Ray continued to run up through the day so I could have held it theoretically who knows it could have continued to go but that trade was mostly about me just taking a quick win I get it locked in you kinda get that itch to make a trade out of the way so it was a safe trade I thought and it was a good first win I ended up taking a chance a little bit of a risk here and you'll see that I'm getting ready to buy I bought 10 contracts hoping it would go up that I get a little bit of a jump but I see the cues are pulling in I see it's not really working I'm slightly green right now to break even and I'm hoping that Tesla pops. This isn't a good strategy. This isn't something that you should necessarily do. And it didn't work. It failed. It turned out to be a really choppy day and plays like this didn't work. On a good day, on a hot day, um, a lot of times that works. And I'll do that and it takes off and I'll make money. If I don't, then I lost. You can see there I lost around $260 or so. But here's where the trade will actually work. You'll see it what would happen I would not have lost that money if I would have done it here so the bar closed now I bought as the level 2 started to tick higher I'm ready to sell I'm ready to sell I'm watching it I'm watching it the cues are holding up we get the pop here's the pop I'm green I'm green I'm ready to sell at any second I click sell done that's a quick five hundred and forty dollars 
got a pretty decent fill. Obviously, it looks like if I would have held and sold a second later, I could have made more, but then also it can pull against you like it just did right there, and then you can lose money. So always better to lock in the money, in my opinion, especially until you get a few wins on your belt, and then maybe if you're up like that, you can hold a little bit longer, and you'll actually see me do that in a trade in a few minutes where I choose to hold something a little bit longer, and it actually doesn't work out for me. I still win, but... I lose, I think, almost 80 cents on where the contracts could have been. So you see here, this is a Know Your Limit 21 that came down and hit the 21, and it popped. Here's the strategy I was just talking about. I bought in. I could have sold right here. Um, I would have been up um, substantially more. Instead, I waited. I sold on the downcline, and instead of getting filled possibly 50 cents or so higher or more, I got filled about, what's that, uh, 12, 15 points higher. So instead of a $500 win, it turns out it was just a $170 win, which, you know, it's still a win, but if I would have sold it initially on the pop, I would have made a little bit more. You can't really play that game, in my opinion. If you look back, though, you can see that it did end up running higher. Again, I just don't hold, especially in this kind of market right now, and I'm happy with that. Hindsight's always 2020. So Tesla has reset here, and it's a what I'm looking for is a Mark One reset. I buy as a front run to this candle closing, hoping it would pop up. It didn't. This is the same thing that happened earlier, uh, and I failed on it. I tried it again, trying to make money on it. I hadn't decided yet that I was going to stop doing that. Um, I probably should have, but that was a little bit of a loss there trying to catch a move instead of just waiting for the stock to set up right so you can lose and if you do those it's a lot higher risk a lot higher risk and you'll see here now we try it again the candle closed it's getting ready to go down it's kind of printing a little lower basically printing in the same range I sell but what you'll notice is the price improvement was really good there I actually won on that even though the stock was going down and that can be a benefit of trading with next week's options or even different brokers. I know Fidelity gives, generally speaking, pretty decent price improvement. And on Fridays, I trade with next week's options, and they can be a little bit more forgiving. So I have a lot of confidence in Tesla now um, because of that really good price improvement there. I wait for it to come down. I'm actually looking at a two minute, a one minute, switching between time frames, I'm looking at the cues. I'm watching Tesla fall, trying to decide where I want to buy it. So now I decided after that last fail that I'm not gonna try to catch this bounce here. I look at it and it's already failed twice. So I learned my lesson, at least for today that I'm not going to try to catch these big moves, instead I'm going to wait. So that's something you kind of need to do, I think, throughout the day, is adapt to how a stock is trading. Every stock is going to trade different. Every day, some days, I would have bought that right there, held it 25, 50 contracts, let it run, and then sell. Today is not one of those days. It's not working. I don't feel it, but I am getting decent price improvement and decent fills on my sells. So I'm just going to wait for the actual setup. That's kind of how I adapted through my morning, and that continued on throughout the day and allowed me to have one of my bigger days this week, or my actual biggest day this week. So Tesla continues to drop. It hits the 21, it hits VWAP. You also see the Qs are hitting VWAP and hitting the 21. That gives me some confidence for a small bounce here. So I'm expecting a one minute bounce when this bar closes, my plan going into this trade is as soon as this bar closes and the price is close to the top, buy it. So it's the 21 VWAP long. No jumping, no trying to catch this trade, just patient. If it doesn't work and it goes down, that's fine. If it shoots up in my face, that's fine. I'm okay with it. And this was actually a really hard point here not to buy it because I see the cues popping, I see Tesla popping, 
I'm thinking it could go, and I just tell myself, wait for the setup, wait for the setup. So I've got seven seconds left, four seconds. I get the price at the top of the candle, watching my level two. It closed. I bought. Could have bought about a second earlier, but it was still good. I load to sell, ready to sell, waiting for it to pop, and I sold. And that was a quick 32 cents, $320 on 10 contracts. Not too shabby. That was actually the last trade that I made. You can see the time jump here. That's the first 30 minutes. I was around $500 green. I continued to trade throughout the day and made substantially more than that. Just doing what you saw there. I quit front running. I waited for a setup, took small 10 contracts, and continued to just chuff away uh, one trade at a time. I traded till about noon and then got off. It was a, a good day and I just locked in the profits then. So thank you all for being with me this week. I really appreciate it. If you have any suggestions or questions, please leave them in the comment box below. And don't forget to leave a like. I'll see you all next week.